Hello, my name is Jeremy Akers, Jeremy Nathaniel Akers, and this is the third of 10 whys to practice and use liberating structures. Unfuck. So have you ever noticed micromanagement where there's a tendency to overhelp and over control processes and outcomes? Have you ever been somewhere where gossip was present? where you experienced front-sized praise, approval, silence, certainly no criticism, but then uh, on the back end received indirect criticism, judgment, cynicism, ridicule, even punishment? Yeah, well, that sucks. Instead, we believe that you should. we want to build trust as we go. So in order to do that, we must create and maintain safe spaces for deep, focused conversations where speaking truth is valued, actually, and that shared ownership is the goal. We want to make sure we gather everyone's input, sift through ideas, and decide on action at the end. And we want to practice this nothing about me without me and really enable everyone involved to inhabit this sort of leader, follower, quantum superposition. Again, liberating structures, principles like this emerged um, or were noticed after people had been practicing liberating structures. So if you want to build trust as you go, then liberating structures are going to offer you ways and tools to do that together free of charge. Again, I'll put some links to some articles where folks unpack this at greater length. My name has been, has been Jeremy Akers, Jeremy Nathaniel Akers. Uh, thanks for your time, attention, and energy. And uh, gushes.